teach, to mentor others, to build others, and to contribute to the society. Because then you realize that not, okay, let me give you an analogy. I must do that. Give me two minutes. I had a client, I won't tell you in which country because it, I don't want to embarrass him. And I helped him working with him go from $250 million capitalization to 3.5 billion in capitalization. So one day I asked him, what are you doing? What are you building here? You know, he started with 100 stores and now he has 1,800 stores and banks and, and television stations and telephone companies. I mean, what? He says, well, I can buy a bigger airplane. Okay, so bought the biggest airplane you can have, private plane, with a sleeping bed in room, etc. And I think, what's next? So, well, now I want to have a biggest yacht. So he bought himself the biggest yacht, 182 feet with jacuzzi and swimming pool and you name it. He says, what's next? He says, now I want to have a big villa on the beach and he bought the presidential compound. I don't know whether he bribed the government or not, but he had the president's compound is his now on the beach. So what's next? Oh, now I want to have a farm on the mountains. What's next? And then I realized it reminds me of a woman. No matter how much clothes she has, she needs to buy more clothes and more clothes and more shoes and more clothes and more jewelry. How much clothes do you need? I mean, you don't even wear half of it. How much do you need? Then I realized, why is she behaving like that? Because she's empty here. You're empty here. Because when you're empty in your soul, you try to fill it with things. Same thing with this executive. He's trying to fill his soul. So what you need to do, my friend, is work on your soul. Because when your soul is full, everything else is irrelevant. And I think what one of the things that worries me how would you like that there is a program for women how to buy more shoes and more clothes and how to measure their success by how many shoes and clothes they have? I'm sorry, my friends, but that's what you do. All these, all these MBA programs, you're teaching them how to measure themselves by materialistic measurements market share, profit, return on investment, assets, you know, more clothes, more shoes, more of this, and we are destroying the world. One of the things that we have to start putting in the programs is some spiritual growth. So when we are as a founder, we build the biggest closet with the most clothes we can have, and now, oh, what do I do? I'm empty. Our spiritual need needs to be fed. And that's what we don't do. When you have the spiritual side, no problem. You leave one thing, there is something else. I mean, you contribute to the society. You start, you maybe volunteer to go to Africa and teach people how to manage their little companies and survive. I mean, there is so much to do. Go like Carter and build houses for poor people. There is a lot what to do if you have a soul. And that's what we are losing in our work. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any more questions? OK, so I think we still will have a chance to ask a lot of questions and discuss with Dr. Adizis. Uh, so I think we should give once more a big hand for this first. Time.